All right, so each group in this first game is called Launch It. Each group will get their, it's basically exercise band or therapy band. I just cut it and, you know, the big roll, you'll get a big roll of it. And I just cut it about a foot and a half. All right, and then eventually the ends will start fraying, and then I'll cut that end off, and they're like, Coach, I can't really shoot a ball with this, so I'm just I'm using it as long as I possibly can, all right? Save, save a buck. So uh, hit up your, uh, if you know anybody in physical therapy, I mean, they're chunking this stuff all the time. All right, this is like a medium resistance band. Now, in this game, you're going to be launching these balls like a slingshot, all right? Now... You're going to have to figure out how to shoot it, though. I'm going to give you a few pointers, and you're going to have to figure out. Now, this first game is called Launch It. And you're going to start either at that wall, or you're going to start at that wall. It doesn't matter. You just take off and go with your group. And again, you're in groups of two or three. Now, if I'm in a group of two, let's see. You come here, get you to demonstrate here. Now, there's different ways to hold this. I'm going to let you figure out some ways. I'm going to show you one way in a group of two. Now, if you're a holder... You just grip it tightly. It's not about holding it like this, okay? Now, you're going to cradle the ball where you're just touching the ball. I mean, just touching the green part, not the ball. So pinch the ball. Y'all better look out. All right? Yep. So, booyah. And we, all right, so that's one technique, okay? But here's how it works. When they start at that wall, the ball, let's say it hits the ceiling and drops. Whenever the ball stops, thank you i got to pick it up from that spot, and my next shot is from here. Now, if the ball rolls and hits the wall, it doesn't count. It's got to hit the wall in the air, but it may take multiple shots. So let's say the ball, it stops and it rolls, and it ends up stopping right here. We pick up our next one, and we shoot. If it hits the wall in the air, the person who did the shooting will come and get a wristband, put it on, and then they will go to that wall. Now they're shooting going that direction. So you're trying to hit as many walls as you can, and get as many wristbands as you can. But remember, the ball has to hit the wall in the air. So if it rolls all the way and hits it, you still got to do another little bloop shot to make sure it hits the wall. Of course, my kids are like, pow, and it just drills the wall as hard as they can. Again, doesn't matter. The person who does the shooting will go get the wristband and go back, and then whatever system of who gets to shoot is up to the group. All right. Some people decide, hey, I'm not very good at shooting. You be the shooter because you're, you're launching further. Or let's rotate every time we get a point. Y'all come up with that yourself. If you want to argue about it, that's fine. The other teams are going to be going past you. Okay, so that's totally up to them. So there's different ways. Now, if you are a group of three, will you stand up and hold that sign? Again, we are just holding it firmly. The person that's doing the three-person is pulling the ball. Remember, don't hold the ball physically. Pinch it inside the green thing. We're just trying to give them a nice wide base. This does not make it work even better, okay? So you can hold like this. All right, thank you. I mean, there's people that hold it like this. Of course, then their arms are getting pulled back, and the kid shoots them in the back of the head, and they will keep using that tactic, okay? That's up to them. So Normally, as a prerequisite, I say, hey, you have five minutes, explore to shoot and all that. But I'm going to go jump right into the game, and you're just trying to hit as many walls as you can. Y'all better heads up over there because these balls are going to be, they kind of take off and do their own thing. So just pay attention. So any wall you want to go to, hit as many walls as you can. Ready? Go. Number one objective, what was it? Absolutely. I can hear you breathing from here. Okay? Again, I can play this game or I can take them outside and run. Which am I going to have a better response from? Okay? Especially you're getting a slingshot of ball. And I just got drilled, by the way. Someone just lit me up. But you know what? It didn't sting. And kids are going to get hit with the balls because you can't really control them. I am watching for that kid that's just waiting, you know, to someone across their path. Yes, I do address that because I have a no dodgeball policy, no throwing balls at people, okay? So, um, again, just another way to get kids moving because kids aren't going to shoot a ball and go, okay, let's go get the ball. No, they're sprinting. They're going as hard as they can, and they're going back and forth, going, going. And if they want to argue who gets to shoot, so be it. You're going to lose points. 
Now, all I'm doing again is I've broken it down into categories in the book. It'll say, all right, if they got between this many and this many, they, you know, they earn this level. And so when I try to have positive levels, I don't go, okay, you're this level, so y'all are horrible. No, I don't do that. Okay. Again, the whole idea is they got them moving and all that. And I might say, okay, this team over here, y'all did super well. What was your strategy? Well, we decided that so-and-so, they just had the technique of shooting. We just let them shoot the whole time. I'm like, that's a great strategy. So they weren't being selfish. They figured out what was best for the team. All right. So how many, did anybody get at least four points? Anybody higher than four? Okay, five, five or more. I have tons and tons of wristbands. Again, I have six different colors and I have a bucket for each color and they're just throwing those things on there. You can do sticks where they're sticking in the pockets and all that, but their arms will be caked like, coach, I can't feel my fingers. You know, their circulation's cut off and wearing all the wristbands. So um, you have to watch out for that. I, as a teacher, I'm just going and going, hey guys, remember the technique. Just, you know, maybe you hold it this way and make sure you're pinching the green part, not the ball itself. So I'm just helping kids out with that. But I'm letting them explore and figure out their ways. There's some kids laying on the ground. They get better leverage. You know, they're doing that. That's their technique. But if, if that's what they want to do, I'm totally cool with that. All right, so that game is called Launch It. 